Hello everyone, I am Sekandar Aburakib. Today I will be with you about a new video which is called Learn Bower. So we can see from the screen here Bower a package manager for the web application. So what is Bower? Bower is a package manager for the web application that I said earlier. To build a website, we need many things like frameworks, libraries, assets, and utilities, and so on. Bower manages all these things for you. We use npm to manage our backend, and we use Bower to manage our frontend packages and utilities. We can also manage our frontend with npm package manager. It is usual practice for the developer. They feel comfortable with Bower to handle the frontend packages with it. So the next question comes, what are the requirements to install Bower? So to install Bower, we need the node installed into our machine and npm, which comes along with this node and the git. So if we go to the command window and I am checking the requirements to install Bower node version 6.9.2 npm version 3.10.9 and also git version 2.10.1. So all the prerequisites to install the Bower that I have installed into my machine. Okay. Uh, now uh, next question comes how to install Bower globally. So I'm going to do it here. To install Bower globally, we can use npm to install it into our machine. That is npm install global flag and Bower. So as I have installed it earlier, so I am not going to install it again. You can install the Bower to your machine by using this command. So I can check the Bower. Already I have installed it 1.8.0. Okay, now how to create Bower.json file for your project? To give answer of, of this question, I must explain one thing. Why this Bower.json file is required into our project? We can work without Bower.json file, but we cannot manage the package and the package dependencies on, onto our projects. Let us jump to the command window. Let us create a project. I'm going to desktop and creating a directory named our test already I have. So our test one and I am switching to that directory and directory is empty okay uh, now if i create this bower.json file in that case i can install the packages which will be written as a dependencies into this file otherwise if i install the packages with the help of bower if i install the packages or modules that can be directly installed into the bower component folder so i can i am going to create the bower.json file I can create bower.json file in two ways. I can create it manually like bower.json or I can put the required elements there within that file or I can create it by a command like bower init. It will ask me some questions. Simple apps index license home page yes uh, ignore list yes uh, registry yes and yes almost all is yes so this is the file that uh, bower has created for us we can go to here and we can go to the we can open it here desktop or test one and we can see the bower.json file has been created here. So name, author, description, ignore file, add. Okay. Now if I go to install some package through the command, that is to install some package by using bower, we'll have to write bower install for example angular.js and save as a dependency and we can go and check 
angular js as a dependency it has included this is one way to install bower component uh, uh, different modules and these modules will be installed in the by default bower components folder so if we go to the bower components folder here it will be added into our project and we can see angular has been added into bower components folder so if i write here like bootstrap and uh, give here latest then save it and go to the command here and simply write bower install then it is going to install bootstrap file for us okay here we can see and we can go to the bower.json file and check it out so here they have installed the bootstrap and along with it jquery okay so we can install in two ways we can write down here in uh, dependency here in dependency properties of this file uh, the module name and uh, can run the bower install command from our command prompt or we can install like uh, direct the package name uh, for example uh, bower install then the package name and as a dash dash save as a dependencies and we can save it uh, these are the two ways that we can follow so we saw how to install packages with bower now i will show you how to search package in bower so if i go here or no if i go here i have to go the official website of bower dot io and search package here search packages and if you write like angular js you see the list of angular related modules are here so if i write bootstrap bootstrap will come here so by this way we can search the bower packages we can also list bower list which packages we have installed into our project so we can expect it will show angular bootstrap and jquery by the same way we can uninstall the bower packages like bower and install angular js and save let us check yes save okay and i can check it here here is no angular folder and here is no dependencies of angular that means angular is gone and we can double check by bower list it is gone only the bootstrap is remaining okay so far so good the last thing i want to show you how to use install package with bower so for doing that i need to create a index file so at present into our folder we have only the bower.json and bower components so touch index and html file let us check it yes it has been created let us go to the visual studio code and within the index file we'll write html and bower and here we can write uh, dot container container okay for any reason it is not working image is not working properly okay i can write div class container div and 
one thing I must do that is we must link to bootstrap link and why it did not work let me check it out dot container okay maybe I did not save it there that's why okay now I am writing one h1 tag hello world I am Bauer your package manager okay now if I go to this folder and open the file with Chrome so we are getting this text from this index.html file but we did not connect uh, this index file with the Bower component so I am going to do it right now so Bower underscore component slash bootstrap slash dist slash CSS slash bootstrap dot mean dot CSS so here bootstrap dist CSS and bootstrap mean dot CSS this is the location of the file that I have connected here and I can see yes it is working so if I go to inspect element you can see the link is here so by this way you can connect your packages into your main entry point of the application like index.html or app.js or server.js whatever it is so this is all about Bower and if I review the course a bit so here we what we have learned so long what is Bower what are the requirements to install Bower how to install Bower globally how to create Bower.json file for the project and how to install packages with Bower how to search packages in Bower through the website and how to use install packages with Bower that I have shown it to a small project I hope this video will be informative for you and if you like the video please subscribe to my channel and if you have any question or suggestion please leave it into the comment box thank you very much for watching the video